is Queen Lit and I'm a gospel minister. The Lord bless and favor you wherever you are watching me from. I have seen something today on the screen and my heart is in pain. I'm so sad. I saw Mr. Ibu in the hospital seeking for financial help and prayers because if people don't come to his aid, his leg will be amputated. The doctors will cut off his leg. So he's asking people to help him, people to fly him out of the country if it is necessary. Or if they can, they should do that. Mr. Ibu's family members, please, if you are watching me, like I said, my name is Quinlit. My page name is Quinlit Music. Please, our number is there. Contact us. My management group, we are ready. We will fly Mr. Ibu out of the country to Germany to treat himself. Mr. Ibu, if you, if you remain there, in that country, if you remain there, what will happen will happen. Your leg might be cut off. Please contact us as soon as possible because that continent called Africa. It is called a skeleton system. There is nothing there. No system is working and nothing is going on. And for all you know, this private hospital, they are charging because it is their own hospital. Government hospital is there, but they are not putting things well. That is why Mr. Ibu went to private hospital. I don't want to talk about the system of, of, of our, our, our country right now. Africa on a whole. Everywhere in Africa is like that. That is why I call it a skeletal continent. A skeleton, nothing. I mean nothing. Now, let's take a lesson out of this. We have seen so many legends, not only Mr. Ibu, begging for money. We saw them in the, in the churches. We saw them at different places. And this is so embar embarrassing and it is so shameful for a legend. Somebody like Mr. Ibu, you've made a lot of people laugh, including me here. We all watch your movies and it was so funny and it is used to re release stress. So if your end will be like this, and this is not the first time you, are, you have been seeking for money, begging for money, this is not the first time. I'm not saying if you want to help him, please. If you have money, send to him. Send your prayers. We are also ready to fly him out of the country. But we are learning something here. I'm talking to people of wisdom. I'm talking to people who can think. We are learning something here. Anybody in Africa, everybody in Africa to be, pre to be precise, please try and put something down. Whatever work you are doing, even if you are a cleaner, whatever you work you are doing, put something down for yourself. There should be a money that you put aside that that money you don't touch it. Because it is becoming like if, if somebody is getting old in Africa, then it becomes a burden for the family. Meanwhile, here in Europe or any part of the developed countries, they leave money. In fact, fat bank accounts and properties for their family members if they die. So in Africa, if somebody dies and we are crying, they are crying, they are crying. It is not because of the person you, most of times it's because of their money. Because it is a burden for the members in the family. They can't bear it. They cannot pay. Now, people, children who are not born, the third generations who are not even there, they are owing because their grandparents could not, could not pay their, their barrier, uh, how do we call it, cost. And it is there. Those children will come and meet it and they'll be paying. Meanwhile, here in Europe, here in developed countries, people are leaving properties for their family members if they get older. Why is it that it is becoming a burden for us in Africa? Why, why, is, it, why is it like that? If I talk about polygamy, people will come and swallow me on this platform. People will come and crucify me because the men, most of them, they use their money to marry more women and they are not able to share their properties even equally. Because, let me tell you, you can never be equal to 10 women. It is not possible. It is not possible. So sometimes, we hear a lot of stories. Oh, when my father died, I could not continue my education. When my husband died, and then my children, I had to share them to people so that they'll go and live with those people. My children need to, needed to travel to here and here because I could not cater for the children alone. But if things are done properly, it doesn't matter the work you are doing. Even if you are a watchman, you'll be able to save money. 
small for your family so that if you die you you will not leave a burden for your family your family members will not become beggars and this thing is happening in africa and mr ibu is not the first one so if mr ibu wants to be flown out of the country it is not his fault because most of the the politicians they also fly out of the country to come and take care of themselves they have to put system in place they have to put things in order they themselves they don't have confidence in the system they say they are governing so they live there and come here and come and treat themselves and they, they they bring their children to come to school here if they want to go to holidays they come here and lodge in the big hotels so that they will relax themselves they are not putting things in place in the country where we call our own and this is the this is very sad and that is why i am in pain right now no matter what you are doing try and put something aside now people in Africa, those girls who are talented, gone at the days, if you watch movies, you see that you are hearing something, you know that you are watching a movie that will give you uh, some kind of wisdom. After that, you will be able to use it in your life as an experience. But now what are we seeing? All the girls, they are bleaching. All the girls, they are enlarging their bottles, they are enlarging their breasts, they are enlarging their mouth. In fact, they are, doing, they are changing every system of their body. So that they will meet those politicians. Those politicians, some of them who steal the money. They will meet them and collect that money. And you know, they are all sick. Don't you see that they are all sick? If people, if poor people's money are in your hand. And you are, you are, you are destroying the money. You are spending the money like you want. My, my dear, you will not live to enjoy that money. You get sick. They are sick. And those girls, they also, those kind of sicknesses are waiting for them. Because you go and lie down for, for people to put drip, effusion on you. So that you become fair. You bleach through that means. You take pills, capsules. You, you, you swallow them so that you become fair. Do you know what is going on in your system? You come and sit here. Most of those girls, they sleep with men of God. They go there, they lure them. And those people fall because they are men of God. And you come and sit here. I slept with this pastor and I'm now sick. Like Ali Mabubaka. You see that you were sick. Let me tell you, there are some people, the hand of God is upon them. If you fall into their trap, even if they force you to go and sleep with them, and if you, you allow it, you will get sick at the end of the day because you have broken the protocol. That person must do something in the lives of human beings. That person is carrying an unction. That person is carrying an assignment. So if you let him fill his assignment, you will get a punishment for that. I'm telling you. I'm not here to defend anybody, but I want those girls to understand that it's not every man that, every man of God that you go into his life and sleep and your life will be the same. Sometimes it is not any juju. It is God that is punishing you. Because you don't want to be in your lane. In, in your lane. There is a way and there is a system. The Bible says there is a way that seemeth right to the man, but the end thereof is death. Don't you see those girls? Some of them are going mad. Some of them are going mad. You think you can, you can change something that God has put in place? Place It is not possible. So the politicians are doing it. The actresses and the actors are doing it. Now you need to get that, but you don't even, want, you don't even go to audition. You need to get that kind of shape, and then you go through the audition, and then you need to be fair. You need to bleach yourself, and then you go through, and there you are. You meet those people in governance, and those girls, they are even, they are even luring themselves into into politics some of them they are entering into the law school some of them they are entering into politics so that they will be able to get money they will eat with their two hands yes because if they become popular those those schools those law schools they don't even need any qualification those people are in the system already they are popular they even want to get connection to them so that they'll also be popular because now you know you understand so they don't go through anything they don't have uh, certificates but they, they go to school they'll go and do law they uh, and these are the people that are governing you these are the people that are saying they are your leaders it is very sad so let's take mr ibu's issue and learn a lesson out of this put your things in place it doesn't matter what you are doing even if you are you are selling water put some something small small down so that you not be a beggar at the end of the day because Mr. Ibu, you, you yourself, you are money. I've told you. You are money. And everybody who comes around you should be rich. Because you are carrying a talent. And most of the people who are rich, worthy men on this earth, they are talented people. So your end must not be like this. We must not see you on the screen every time, seeking for money, begging for money. Your children are many. You have a lot of children. 
If it is not polygamy, some of them, they have 10 girlfriends, they have 8 girlfriends, women, 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 women everywhere. Please, those of you who are in the diaspora, tell me, those people that we came to meet here, is, that, is this how they do their lives? And they are very busy and they are very serious with whatever they are doing. And even, even, uh, uh, I'm not condemning where I come from, Africa, no. But some of the characters, we have to make it known. We have to bring it out for people to learn out of it. So that the generation will not copy this kind of character. Polygamy is one of them. And bad governance in Africa. That skeleton system. The people, they come here, they go to school, they see everything that is going here, but they don't take it over. I don't understand. I don't understand. Our country is dirty. We throw things everywhere. And, 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 and every time when it is time for election, they will call us, we will come and vote, and they will put us through the same system. Things are not working. Systems are not working. Because there is no actor or actress here who will go for help, who will go and beg for money if the person is sick. It is not possible. Where I am at the hospital, where I work at the hospital, at my department, because it is a private department where people who are uh, private, who have private insurance, that is where they are. So I meet big people over there. I meet, I meet if I say big people, people in the society, okay, who have achieved something. Like uh, I meet actors, I meet actresses there. I meet big people because it is a private insurance uh, uh, ward. And if they come there, you see how they've lived their lives. And if I compare this to Africa, it is so sad because all that we want or all that we need is we have to get a house, we have to get a car, we have to get women, we have to get all this, only these things. You don't think of giving something, okay? Giving something to the next generation. We don't think of implementing something for the next generation. All that we do is to get all these things and we don't even know how to keep them. We overuse them, we spend them, and if the men die, the children are wayward, uh, 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 the, the women cannot do anything, then the, the, the family comes to a standstill. And these things must be avoided. These things are not supposed to happen in Africa. Go to, go to the hospitals in Africa, and you will see how the nurses will behave towards you over there. Go to the private hospitals. People are sleeping on floor giving birth. There, there are no beds. And people are living their lives and people are spending money in the country and we are doing things that sometimes it is, it is not necessary, but we are doing. I'm talking in general about the whole Africa. I'm not talking about one country. This thing happens that me, I travel, I go to a lot of uh, African countries and I know what I'm talking about. And it is not different from anywhere. But I'm living here in Europe and I can compare. I know what I'm talking about. And I've gone to America and I know how the place looks like. And I know how they've put their things in place. And people in the diaspora, they should come out and talk and compare. We are very far, even with our mentality, the way we think. It is different. And these are things we can fix. We ourselves, we can fix. We don't need anybody to come and fix. Because Africa is one of the richest continents on this earth. Africa is one of the richest continents on this earth. So if we are here, we live here. And then if the people, the, even if you are intelligent, okay, and you are living here. And, uh, and the white is most of them, they even think you don't know anything. But most of us, we are very intelligent. But because of our leaders, we have no option. We have no option. This is how we have to live our lives. So Mr. Ibu wants to be flown out of the country. Mr. Ibu, I don't, I don't blame you. The system is not good. And some of those things, they are not put in place. And you, maybe you didn't know. Because over here, I know somebody who died and he left money and properties for his children. He said no. I know barrier here is very expensive. I'm old. I'm getting to 100 years. I have put things in place. This is money I put somewhere. I didn't touch the money. It, it, this, this money should go to my children. This should go here. They, they have put things in place. Everything is working. What about us? We see our legends everywhere in Africa. They come begging for money to take off their health issues. And it is not only one person. It goes on and it goes on and it goes on. And all that the girls know. They get money. They buy big wigs. They buy big things they, they they only buy things they don't know how to save so they 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 themselves if they are sick they also come and sit down and beg for money especially the actors and the actresses and they see they they come and they'll be begging for money every time and this is so shameful so if the government cannot do it for you individuals shape your life put things in place make sure you save so that you not put a burden on your family members it is becoming unbecoming and it is too much 
And this thing, it bothers me. I can't do it alone. But I know that there are some people who are also thinking like the same way I'm thinking. Things must be put in place. This is not the first time Mr. Ibu is, is, is asking for money on his sick bed. He gets the money because now he's older and he's not getting any contract again. So the money, it will put food on his table and that is it. I don't blame him. That is how it is. But if the, the Actors Guild, I don't know how they are called, the, the Nollywood Actors Guild, or they put things in place. This is your royalty. This is what you get. People sit there and they are not even faithful. They spend people's money. People work, people act. They spend their money. People sing, they spend their money. And they themselves, they don't put things in place. And everything is just like that. Manya, manya. Everything is just, it, it, it's not in order. And this is what we have to avoid out of our system. It is shameful and it is, it is not supposed to be, to be condoned. It is not supposed to be among us. This is shameful. So please, let's work on ourselves. If the, the system will not help us, let's think as people and put some value on our lives. Especially if you are on your sick bed. Right now, the doctors are saying they, they will amputate his leg. They will, you understand? They will cut off his leg. And it is a, a painful moment. And, the, and at the same time, you have to come and seek for, for help. I saw the, the children have spoken. They said they, they have no strength anymore. The wife also came. They don't have anything. And I know Mr. Ibu is having small children. And they are in school. And this is a burden. Not, for, not only for his family. You see? You see that it is also a burden for us. That is why I'm saying the family members, come. We will fly Mr. Ibu to Germany. If not to Germany, to Poland. So that he will take care of his, of his, uh, uh, he, 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 he himself. And this sickness will be over because we don't want Mr. Ibu. We don't have any, any bad thing to happen to Mr. Ibu. This is what I brought to you. And I'm hoping and I'm believing that a system will be put in place. Things will start working for Africa. It is time for us to rise as people. Me, I don't care anything, any party, any, anything. Please, the whole continent, let us rise. Let us put things together for us. Let us let things work for us. Because those of us who are also living here, the things we are facing, the things we are going through, we, we wish we are in our own land. But is it possible? Is it possible? Is it possible poverty will send you to where you don't want to go? And you face all kinds of things. But you have to be like this and go through. Because of some systems that are not being in place. The Lord bless you. My name is Queenlit. You can follow me on so all social media platforms as Queenlit Music. Go to YouTube and subscribe. There was a program we had. Oh my God, Socat Explosion. It was Deliverance. My God, my God. You have to watch that thing on YouTube. Go and watch it and you see that the Lord's hand came mightily on Ghana. Very soon, we'll be bringing it to other countries. So be prepared and be ready. On TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and, and uh, YouTube. I'm also on Twitter. Ask Queen Lit Music. The Lord bless and keep you. Thank you very much.